Honestly, I think we just had that conversation. Today we're here to review RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Eight. Uh, Monet, how is your uh, journey in Australia going? First of all, you black bald bitch, don't you ever cut me off again? You hear what I'm saying? How's your How's your journey in Australia going, Monet? Don't you ever cut me off like that, you black bitch? So just so you all know, Monet uh, started with the sh- started t- today gaslighting again. <laughs> I didn't know that we were supposed to record the podcast. First of all, bitch, we're on the exact same calendar. You and I, we have the same calendar. So if it's uh, in my calendar, okay. it's in your calendar. Well, let me say this. So if you go back to our emails, there's this long correspondence between your shady little boyfriend and Patty trying to secure dates. And the date that was secured was Sunday morning, my time. But it was a... Uh, it's pronounced secured. Whatever. So it was a kerfuffle on your, on your sneaky little boyfriend and Patty. So let's talk about those apples. How about that? So it's just interesting to me how it was in the calendar. That but you were like, oh, I didn't me. I didn't know, but you did know. I did we, we've know. discussed your we've discussed your lying extensively. <laughs> anyway, today. Uh, before just... we start, Bob, I want to give a big congratulations to Monet Exchange. And Bob the Drag Queen, who won a Glad Media Award. Look at us. And I was not able to be there because I was here in Australia, but Bob um, was there. And uh, I feel so proud of us. Don't you? It was very exciting. Um, it was a lovely evening. I saw Idina Menzel was there singing live. She sounds really great live. She sounds amazing, actually. Yeah. Um, and it was a really, it was a really lovely. What's she sing? Her new song, Move. Move, move, move right out of my. That? It's not quite that, but it okay. is. But it is a great song. It's called "Move," and she sounded great. It was a really, 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 really wonderful night. So thanks to all of our um, to all of our listeners. Thank you, Megan. I can, hear myself in your, I can hear myself in your headphones. Thank you, Megan McCain. Do you um? Do you also want to congratulate me for winning? On, I won two Glad Awards last night. Do you want to keep the congratulations going or what? Um. Anyway, so we have a lot of ground to cover here on this, on this episode. Listen, so y'all. Should... Sometimes your haters be your be your closest. <laughs> Bob, little friends. I am your biggest cheerleader, and I think you know that. Then the- cheer, bitch. Then cheer. <laughs> rah, 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 bitch. Make with the cheers. Go, team, go. <laughs> you are such a fucking bitch. You are such a bitch. Congratulations on your little your little award for we're here. It's my fourth, and I'm, I think I, I, don't, I have another research. I want to know who is the most glad award winning person of oh all time. Oh my I think god! About, I think I think it's giving up there. <laughs> You are I think I'm the Meryl Streep of Glad Awards. <laughs> I think Wait, I might Mer- be the Meryl Streep of the, the most Why Oscars. Uh, I don't know, but she's been nominated a lot. She's the one who's like always nominated. Right, right. Um, Wait, real quick, where's our our? Um, oh, it's in the email still. Oh, Jay sent one in the email. Oh, wait, I didn't. I didn't pull mine up. Pull up in a monster on the gangster. Jacob's um, okay. Oh, but it doesn't have, so we've already, we've already discussed the entrance looks. So uh, if you want if you want to see me and Monet's thoughts on the, on the entrance looks, you can go back and check our last episode where we reviewed the promo looks mm-hmm. and the entrance looks. But I, I do have a few comments outside of the uh, looks for the entrances. I know that Heidi came in first and she relived her hate, hate, hate your makeup and hair, girl, which I think could really uh, haunt. I could see that haunting someone, you know. Absolutely, Bob. When probably I, Heidi probably loves like all of like a lot of us love Nicki Minaj and someone can you imagine Beyonce or Carol Channing being like, Bob, I hate, hate, hate your makeup. I don't know why she got something. Anyway, imagine that would be that would be traumatizing. It'd be very upsetting. <laughs> um, very upsetting. And Kasha Davis is now sober. She's talked about the fact that she is uh, in these in the Yo Lover. You gotta, you gotta love sober. Davis this year. And you she's was like, sober. And, and the episode, Bob was like, Monet, you can't just go around saying people sober. I was like, but she's been telling everybody she's sober. People they're sober, but you don't go around telling people sober. No, people but if you're sober. on her social media, Kasha has been saying she's sober. It's not like a, a secret well, thing. Well, we know that you breaking people's sobriety and then they just kind of your kink. <laughs> so I don't even know why we're, what we're, we know that's your thing. Sobriety porn. Point. Sobriety porn is my thing. It really gets me off. Um, And they should talk about being, being eliminated twice in one season. <laughs> <laughs> which which happens to a lot of girls who get eliminated who get Carmen brought back. Carmen Carrera was the it's, first one. Yeah, to be eliminated. Uh, Trixie got eliminated twice. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and Kahana has said she has had a lot of work done. Girl, okay. I am not a Kai Kai kind of girl. All right, that is that's never that has not been my tea. Kahana is very hot. Kahana, Kahana's very beautiful. I thought she's beautiful. I thought she, I've always thought she was beautiful. Kahana, and, Kahana and is very beautiful. Did, okay, at one point, Monica said something about accounting and doing math. She either said, I'm Italian or I'm the talent. 
and I turned on the subtitles, and the subtitle said, I'm Italian. Is she Italian? She said, I'm the talent. I thought she said, I'm the talent, but the sub, the, the caption said, I'm Italian. By the way, that's Jay today. Jay's filling in for Jacob. Jacob was working at um, Drag Con this weekend. I thought um, I thought, I thought maybe she was biracial, and that she was saying she was Italian. I didn't realize she was saying, I'm the talent. Anyway, and my last sentence I wrote was that uh, we don't talk enough about James Mansfield doing the little front rolls. During the cheerleading, uh, during the cheerleading right. scene from uh, season nine and up, they kept showing those. They they, they showed that that clip of her doing those <laughs> those front rolls. I didn't she re- was low key eating. I didn't realize that. Like I, I've, I think I have digested so much of James James's content in drag. I rarely see James out of drag, and I didn't realize that they were doing such a character. Like I didn't realize the voice affectation, and everything. I thought that maybe that's how that's how their out of drag experience was. But I'm like gagging at the dichotomy of like out of drag, and I also did not know James was Mexican. She, James, James, James Mexican, James Mexican. She, she, she ain't put. She wasn't Puerto Rican. <laughs> she, I had. I got. She like, Puerto Rican. She Mexican. Mexican. I was like, work good for her. Um, but uh, she wasn't Puerto Rican. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, if you watch her YouTube channel, if you either watch her actual channel, you'll see that she doesn't do that. She doesn't really do that voice when she's doing the hair, just when she puts the hair on. And I also wrote down, I just, I just wrote Jimbo. I was like, there is something about Jimbo that is so endearing to me. Like that little smirk they always have in their confessionals, like their dimples. Jimbo is such an, an I don't know. I just really into Jimbo's drag. And Jimbo's drag is like not my type of drag I do. It's very like clown drag over the girl. top. But it drag I'm girl. obsessed with Jimbo. Did you watch any of her other seasons? I Canada did watch it. I, 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 I watched season one of Canada Draggers. I remember her season, yeah. She won the same um shirt for each of her confessionals, all three seasons. Mm-hmm. I think that's really smart and cool. I don't know where the hell my shirt is. What shirt was yours? You had your little did you what shirt did you have? It was just a red button up shirt, a short sleeve red button up shirt. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So um, let's go into this fashion show. So they they, they start they start the. Well, uh, I, I want to make I want to make, make, make one note. Rule what I've noticed in these past All Star streets, I've been into. RuPaul makes it a point to be like, original All Stars rules are in effect, and Ru also introduces the notion that there's going to be the twist coming up. And I just want to say a note. I did not think the twist that they were going. Like, this is giving me old-fashioned top model tees, like that kind of, like, audience participation thing. And I also, like, well, we're going to talk about it later when he actually talks about it. But the twist that it ended up being about the fan game was not what I anticipated the twist was going to be. I thought it was going to be something way simpler. Did top model have a have a fan voting aspect to it? Yes. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Seasons, like, 16 through, like, like 19, when Johnny Wujek was there, like, the fans, like, got to, like, vote, and, like, they, they got a vote. It was, like, the Tyra's vote, the, the each judge's vote, and then the fan vote, and then that averaged out to a number. And then, but, bitch, it was extra shady because the fans could call in and be like, yeah, Bob, uh, the makeup thing you're doing, it's not really my thing. I think that you you need to stop. Like, they, they would send video submissions, and it would be so shady. Also, text one sometimes. Yeah, they still send them to us. We just—it's just Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> we still get them. Um, uh, so, so they they decided to do the, uh, the the fashion show, which I think was first introduced on season seven. Seven, Viola Chachki, the iconic. But it feels like they had Raven was there, but did Raven say anything? The, that's what I. Oh my god, I was saying it. I was like. It was like it was like the uh, Ross, Michelle, and Rue were saying all the jokes, and Raven. Not one line did Raven have, which was very strange because Raven is very witty. Maybe she was sick that day. I don't know. But I was like, why did they make this woman get in full drag just to sit there and not even? Or get... they just didn't put her lines in. I mean, who knows? It was very. It was a. It was very very strange. Yeah. Um. But they but they do the 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 the, the two the two look fashion show. Um, and this is um, old school, old old fame and new fame. Yeah. And we'll start with Alexis Michelle, which um, I like both of these looks, quite frankly. I think Alexis Michelle is, is a very good drag queen. She looks great. She, I feel like Alexis Michelle always looks great. And she's, she's just, she's a, she's a good, she's a good, she's a good queen. I agree. I love this, this Norma Desmond fantasy, the first one, and the recreating the Kim Kardashian Balenciaga thing, which was so iconic when Kim did it. And I know there is this people hate Kim Kardashian, or whatever, but to show it in the Met Gala, and it, and the, the category was uh, American, whatever it was, or whatever the, sh- the fucking thing was, and saying, like, my body is the thing was wild. No one knew the, who the face was, but they knew her body, which was really fierce. And I think Alexis looked great. I'm not saying 
these light contacts, though, are not my favorite. Do you like these light? I feel con- the contact game has gone so far, and I know she's intentionally using these type of contacts. It just looks a little vampire-y. It looks like Interview with a Vampire, the series. So I, I don't, I'm not really fully aware of what contact she's wearing uh, because this image we have is so far away. And I also really don't really be getting into people's contacts. Like, I don't wear contacts. Um, mm. And I've never worn contacts in drag. And even if I could, I don't, I don't think I would. I, I, I do like the, way, the color that my eyes are. You know what I mean? Um, but I mean, the only time I really noticed is like when Coco Matrice was wearing those like bright blue contacts. I used to wear those, Bob. When I first started drag, I used to love big old bright remember. crazy contacts. Ooh. Let's go on to Miss Kahana Montrese. I think Kahana looks great in these looks. She, she, this old glam is very beautiful, very sexy. But the Lil Nas X one was fierce. That was, to me, the better of the two. And it looks so good. And taking the one Lil Nas X did and making it drag and making it, adding an extra cam to it, she looks incredible. Yeah, I, I do think it's a little top heavy. The shoulders are just so big in her, and and she doesn't <laughs> pad, but she does have a, like, a little bit of an enhancement. But it's not quite like the big like padding is. So she's low key giving a little bit of triangle. But um, I do like her. Um, but she looks stunning in both of these looks, and she looks just great. And her skin is so glossy, always so glossy. Mm-hmm. Glossiana. My name is Glam. Well, what is Heidi's makeup in this old? I, I don't, don't understand know. what's going on with her makeup. Like, it's like a porcelain doll that, like, broke or cracked or something, but it was grayed out. I don't understand the makeup, but I love the dress. I think that still looks really done, cool. I don't think it was done well is what I think the issue is. The, the bottom half, yeah. I, I'm not going to say hate, 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 but I didn't like, like, like. You know what I mean? Like, like You mean the bottom not, half of her face or the bottom half of the dress? The bottom half of her face. Yeah, I didn't understand what it was supposed to be. And I don't understand why it was stone and then regular skin color. I don't. I didn't get it either. I, I just didn't understand it, and um, I also don't love her other look either, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't. I don't. I don't know what it's supposed to. She said it when she said it in her confessional. I was like, okay, but like, oh, she was saying that she's like a like a one of the like the like the uh, the twins, not the twins, the sisters, the Bailey. She's like she's she's like the third Bailey because she had dread hair, I guess. But I don't. Yeah, yeah it was fine. Do both the Baileys have locks? Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I, I do not like this look. I don't like it. Either one of them, actually, to be honest. Um, let's go on to Mrs. Kasha Davis. I, I don't like the first look. What? I like the second one. I don't like the, I, I like the second one, not the first one. The first look is gorgeous. What do you mean you don't like it? <clears throat> I don't know. I just don't. I don't like the headpiece. It kind of looks like she, it looks like a beef eater. A little bit. Beef eater, beef eater. What's a beef eater? Again? A beef eater. Just yeah. Google beef eater real quick. You'll see. It's better than me describing it to you. Once you see it, you're like, oh, a beef eater. Um, it low key looks like a like a, a a bright version of a beef eater. And um I just don't love it. But I but I love her her uh, her second look. I love that. Like, like a that soldier? Wing, but specifically a beef eater. I'm looking at a beef eater soldier. They have little little hats. What is a British the beef eater? Yeah. But they're like it's the, thing the thing on the head. No, but there's something really tall. Well, it kind of it's kind of giving that a little bit. Oh, you mean like a no, the the Buckingham Palace guard dudes? Yeah, but the things they have on their heads, like if you look at images of beef eaters, the things they wear on their heads, the, what, the tall ones. Well, what, what, when is the your beef eater? Ones. Got Not it. Not the flat ones. But they have tall ones too. I'm talking about the tall ones. Got it. Um, yeah, I I like her first look. The second one, I know she's going to give Chris Jenner, but I agree with the judges. It's giving Liza. I know it's trying to be Chris Jenner, but it is giving Liza. I think because Chris Jenner doesn't have, Chris Jenner hair has more volume as opposed to it being flat. Like a Liza wig is flat, a Chris Jenner wig is the same one, but with more volume at the top. And Chris Jenner would never I wear this with- dress. She would never wear this silhouette. But she looks really good, though. I mean, she probably has one of this dress. You're saying that there's probably this is probably a direct, a direct link to a Chris Jenner look. Probably, I, I maybe I highly doubt it. this. Just not Chris Jenner wears more like like this is not her tea. I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really know Miss Jenner like that. But you never know. <laughs> I, I, I know that I know that I like the look. I think she looks nice. And um, but that first one, something about it just doesn't sit well with me. I don't know what it is. Let's go on to Miss Nasha Lopez. And then her first look, she's giving Coco Chanel, and she's nailing it. This is Coco, and this is Chanel down. She looks great. Yeah, it's Marge. It's Marge from The Simpsons in a, in a, in a Chanel suit before she, like, cut it up into different pieces. 
Um, huh? Which Marge, Marge on the Simpsons got a Chanel suit, but oh, um, I didn't know she this. bought it like secondhand and she was trying to impress all these women. And they were like, well, I'll see your next suit. And then she just cut the suit up and like re redesigned it. I'm like, wow, another Chanel suit. And then she did it like two, like two more times and she was like running out of fabric while she was trying to like keep up appearances. Got it. Yeah, and she looks good. I think the hair, the hair and the hat, like what like sealed the deal. Obviously, the the brocade and the Chanel, obviously in the suit, but the hair and the hat really are giving Coco Chanel. And um, her Donatella Versace. This is a beautiful dress. I want to wear this dress. Yeah, she looks great. She, I mean, Nacho Lopez is is really stunning. She really is. You know, she's just stunning. Mm-hmm. Truly, yes, truly. Ma'am. Okay, let's go on to Candy Muse. I am not. I don't. I think I'm over girls dressing up like RuPaul. I, 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 I think I'm. Oh, I think I'm over it. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm just, I, just think, I just think I'm not interested in it anymore. Yeah, I, I don't want to say I'm over it, but I thought this was fine. I, I wasn't uh, as. Uh, well, I don't know who was impressed with it like that, but I, I thought it was fine. It wasn't like, oh my god, you bit, bitch, you better work, or it wasn't bad. It was, it was fine. I think the hair looks really cool, but her second look, I did not like that second look. I, uh, I don't care much for the second look either, which is wild because because she came out of the gate so strong with a great interest look and a great promo look. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so I'm also not super impressed with this look either. Yeah. We should go on to um Ms. The cool Darian one Lake. Is Darian Lake. Okay, call me wild. I like the Billie Eilish look. Is that weird of me? I like the Billie Eilish look too. I thought you were gonna say you like this damn LARPing uh a medieval fantasy thing. <laughs> no, I did not like the first look, but I like the I thought the Billie Eilish look was kind of cool, especially I think it's because it's on Darian Lake. Yeah, I agree. I about seeing Darian Lake out here in like pants and a t-shirt and like a green black wig is like I agree. Better work. I agree. When she came out, I was like, I was like, oh, that's a smart way to do something that, like, I, I agree. When Michelle was like, because it was a T-shirt, blah blah blah, I was like, whatever. Like, I, I, I agree. On Darren Lake, I really like this. Maybe on Simone, I would have been like, well, we know, you know. I think it'd be one thing if Darren Lake was guilty of wearing T-shirts a lot, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I think Darren Lake was intentionally wearing this shirt for a specific reason. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah. Let's go on to Miss uh, Monica Beverly Hills. And her first Nefertiti look is this is a very beautiful look. I think this is gorgeous. I agree. It looks really, really good. Um, I, I don't have a single note. This looks stun- What's so funny? <laughs> the second look when she was like, I'm giving Kim Petra. I was like, bitch, where the ass? Oh, I was like, I don't think you know who Kim Petra is. <laughs> Kim Petra. No, she has a friend named Kim Petra. Just a completely different person. Just someone that she knows. A cousin. She got a cousin named Kim Petra. Um, her like, second look is, is, is a scotch. Um, is it, I know it's funny to, to, considering what I'm saying about Darren Lake's look. But something about her look is just it's, it's a little too... Maybe because I don't get the reference. Maybe the reason why I like Darren Lake's look is because I can see that this is clearly a Billie Eilish look. Yeah. And Monica really just looks like she's this wearing be Andy a girl. two-piece. This is be Andy Girl from Love yeah. and Hip Hop. Well, it's Kim Petra. <laughs> she's on Love and Hip Hop LA. Um, uh, let's go on to Miss James Mansfield, who is uh, I don't know the they said the name of this of her first look, and I forgot. Do you know the name of it? What is called traditionally? I, I I do not remember, but she says it's a tribute to her Mexican heritage, and she looks really good. James also, Mexican. Were, she Mexican. She went Puerto Rican. <laughs> also, everyone we couldn't Monet and I couldn't name every Mexican on our like our last thing. Everyone was like, "How dare you not know I every know. Mexican who's ever been on Drag Race?" I know. And we we even <laughs> said we know there's more Mexicans. We just don't know all the Mexicans. <laughs> Sorry, Denali. We know, girl. We we know Denali. Now we know. Wait, Drag Race got more Mexican. They got more Mexicans. <laughs> yes, yeah, a lot of me- it's a lot of Mexicans <laughs> on Drag Race. No, y'all, we know y'all, that we- y'all are Mexican. Y'all are Mexican. We know that t- that that Valentina is not the only Mexican from Drag Race. Which bitch? Know. It announced that she, she's hosting Drag Race Mexico. Oh, did, you keep saying that. You keep saying that. No, the, it, this, is mean, like, this is like your eighth time saying that. No, but before it was like a leak. Now it's like officially she announced it at Drag DragCon, Drag Race, and Lolita something. They're hosting Drag Race Mexico together. Not Lolita something. That's so disrespectful. Oh my not god! Lolita Disrespect something. these nuts, nigga. Look, talk about her second look. Okay, I'm looking at Drag Race Mexico and Va- Valentina Lolita Banana. Lolita Banana. Not Lolita, not Lolita something. Her name is Lolita B- 
Banana, not Lolita something. Can you please put some respect on her name? Oh my God, can you please talk about James Madison's second look? Um, she said she was doing JoJo Siwa, which is funny because I was getting someone else. I don't know who I was getting, but it wasn't JoJo Siwa. Yeah, I would agree. I when she said JoJo Siwa, I was like, okay, I see it, but that wasn't initially what I oh, thought. I see the ponytail. Yeah, JoJo Siwa wears a lot of rainbows. If she would have had like more rainbows, I would have been like, uh, yeah, I see JoJo Siwa. And she doesn't have enough glitter on her face. Yeah, JoJo Siwa does a lot of great little glitter. That's true. That's true. That's true. Honestly, it's low-key giving Jan with blonde hair. Low-key. No, Bob. No. Well, I, I don't think Monica Beverly Hills is Nefertiti. That's what she said. No. That's what um, Jessica Wilde said. Oh. That's so strange that they both did something so similar. What did Monica Beverly Hills, what did she say? I don't remember. It was like Isis, maybe. Like Isis. Right, the Isis wings kind of behind her. But I, I, I just, she didn't say she didn't say it. Anyway, um, Jessica Wild uh, looks really stunning. Yeah, um, this headpiece I is love, fierce. I love the gold with the white uh, flowy fabric. It looks really, really great. And her second look is cool. It looks nice. Yeah, it's fine. But her first look was so good, and second look feels like, not I don't want to say a throwaway, but definitely way simpler than her first ones. But also... No, no, I'm, I'm not going to say that because you can make now. There are people wearing crazy shit now. Um, but yeah, I think she looks great. Um, I love what Jimbo did with so Marilyn good. Monroe. So clever. I love what she did with Marilyn Monroe. So clever. I love that the dress is just like, it looks like it's just constantly blowing up. That is so awesome. I just really love that. Yeah. Um, I agree. And her second look, I, I get it. She's a thumbs up thing. But did you notice the me... Like, as she's walking down, the me was falling off, so they didn't show the me at all, which is, thank you, like, that's good for them, like, not trying to make it look crazy on the thing, but her the, her me, like, was, like, hanging. It was, like, waning. It was, like, hanging by the M or something. Maybe that was an artistic expression about how we're losing ourselves in the likes, like, we're losing ourselves and what it means to, to, to desire social media fame. I don't like the second look. I, it, I do like the thumbs up hair, which is really, which is really just a really kind of cool idea. But other than that, I do not I do not care for the second look much. Yeah, that's cute. Um, but let's go to Miss Lala Ree, honey, because she this first Lala Ree look is so beautiful. This fabric, this glitter, or whatever kind of fabric it was, looks so great on stage. I agree. This look is really, really great. Again, I wish the hair was just different. I I don't think I like Lala Ree's hair very often. I wish it was like more out to the side instead of just straight up. Yeah. Um, I think it would it would make her head look smaller. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I agree um, with that assessment. And that second look, but this I did look, not. but this look, but her this first look is stunning. I, this second look is all is almost as bad as the bag look. <laughs> I, I am gagged. Yeah, I did not. I don't understand why. I I, I don't like this. I don't like I'm it. I'm just imagining her like packing this or getting dressed <laughs> and being like 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 she's getting dressed and she's seeing that 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 like that. Nefertiti. What, like what everyone else, whatever, like Nefertiti and fucking Norma Desmond. And then she like grabs a cat suit with like, with, <laughs> with, with the font on it. I'm, I am gagged by this look. Yeah. Completely. I, even the, in the wig, like, yes, a neon wig will be a compliment your skin tone probably, but this little side bob, uh uh-uh. uh. No. Yeah. And it's too much nude to give illusion. Right. Like the, if you want to look like a noodle, it's got to like come in parts with the outfit. It's too much nude. The whole illusion is nude. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not great. Yeah, it's not um, great. For me, for me. Let me. Let me. Who let me is your just, Who is uh, your favorite? Do you have a favorite? My favorite look out of all of these is uh, Jimbo's Marilyn Monroe. Look. Oh my god, I agree, Jimbo. And Jessica Wilde was a close second for me with the Nefertiti, but Jimbo, like, just to make something that's so simple, like the Marilyn Monroe dress, and just putting it, suspending it in motion and having it look like that was so smart, which I fucking loved. I agree. I absolutely agree. It was a really, really, really cool look. Yeah. Um, do you have a least favorite? <sighs> least favorite would have to be, let me look again. I want to give a fair assessment. Um, I'm going to say Lala. It's Lollary, yeah. Lollary. I, I gotta get Lollary. But also, like, I, you know what drives me crazy? So, like, 
like Ruli fans doesn't sound like only fans. And also <laughs> Ruli is a word. <laughs> like Ruli is a word that already exists. You know what I mean? Is Ruli, yeah. 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 So I was like, um, I don't know. <laughs> I just I, I just didn't like it. It was it was very upsetting. So the girls go back to the work with Roberta and they're all de-dragging and stuff. And right away, Candy, Jimbo, and Heidi, they start talking alliance. Baby, my impact. Bitches was not talking about alliances openly until Monet Exchange decided to talk about alliances openly. That's not true. Openly? Bitch, they were around first everyone. All, they were like, they're like, first oh. of all, you all were trying, you all were trying to sneak into Whisper, and we have conf- confirmation where Jinx being like your deep ass voice rumbling in the distance as you were trying to whisper about your alliances. Um, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hey, mom, I'm doing a podcast. Everything okay? Huh? I said I'm doing a podcast. Everything okay? Yeah. Can you call me later? Yes, it, I'm doing two podcasts back to back. But every, is everything is everything cool though? Yeah, okay, cool. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Can you, can, you, can you hit me with an I love you when I call you sometimes? If you call me. me and J- as, as, as me and Jay DeFeo mentioned, you don't call anyone anymore. You you got your little uh your little winner show friends, and y'all, you don't, apparently you don't need anyone. So you're good now, I guess. Anyway, but yeah, but they're like, they, they're ever, right ever, since you, ever, ever since you won your one GLAAD award, you've been really acting a while. When <laughs> they talked about their alliance, and I think this is an interesting dynamic in all stars. You didn't because congratulate me on winning a Peabody. Oh, did you win the Peabody? I didn't realize you win the Peabody. Okay, bitch. I don't know everything that you do. Every you know everything I'm doing every moment of the day. No, congratulations. Yeah, I do know. I, I know. I know the big stuff. Yeah, I do, Monet. I do. <laughs> Anyways, can we do this episode? I don't know. We can't anymore. <laughs> so they're talking about their alliance. And I think it's an interesting part of All Stars because a lot of the girls have relationships before the show. Like they've toured to, like Candy mentioned, they we tour together. Like we trust each other a lot and they're going to carry that through. I don't think Jimbo's going to hold up their end of the, Something about Jimbo's gameplay from last UK, I don't think Jimbo's going to hold up their part of the alliance. But I'm interested to see how this works, how this turns out. Yeah. I mean, also, I mean, we skipped over the choreography section, but before we go back to it, every Miss Congeniality comes back and goes, no more Miss Congeniality. <laughs> it's a trope at this point. And, honey, no more Miss Congeniality. That's like, oh, we know. I don't oh, know, I don't know why that, so many I tropes. That. And, honey, no more Miss Congeniality. I'm here to, I will scratch a bitch's eyes out. Um, while they're doing the choreography, Jessica Wilde is really, I don't think she's doing a, like, I'm looking at Jessica Wilde's choreo when everyone's like lost in the dust and like, I, it doesn't seem that hard to me, but then I watched the show and I was like, apparently it was Girl. incredibly difficult. But also Bob, you, you're someone who can move, you know, you do choreography. I think, I think we, we figured there's some people who just, they do not have coordination. There's some people who do not dance. They, they can barely like, bitch, some people can't even clap to the beat. Now you want me to... Like that that's just a yeah, thing. But also it's a show it's a show where you like this is what you with this is what you do on the show and like Jessica Wild goes like uh and look. It was like she was saying and one and two and three and four and beat bop boop boop and beat it to the beat it to the swoop swoop up down and she was like you fame and then you look. <laughs> but some people don't have the coordination. Clearly. <laughs> but because oh, the disco girls could not dance in unison to save their lives. So we're gonna introduce the challenge. So what they're gonna do is I, this is typical for draggers. We know this formula. They're gonna the girls are divided in, into two groups and they're going to be um performing a hard rock version or a glam rock version and a disco version of a song that Randy and Fenton, who are the executive producers slash owners of World of Wonder, um, that these have a group. Did you know Did you know that they had a group back in the day? I don't know. I thought they were only like behind they, the camera the, people. The, the pop charts were mentioned on the show before in the past. Oh. What, what What do you think about these teams? Is there a team that you wouldn't want to be on or you wouldn't want to be on? Um, I think I would want to be on... I mean, theme wise, like with the music, I would have wanted to be on the disco one. Same, same. I would love to be on a disco team. 
Yeah. But the Rock one, the Rock, they, were, they were actually both fun. It wasn't like uh, it wasn't like no one got like yodeling. No, no offense to yodelers. I'm sure if you're a yodeler, you're great. But yodeling, yodeling, uh, you know, fame, success, glamour would have probably been a little bit hard. Um, when they're when when the other group is going up, Jimbo, the the glam rock group is going up, and Jimbo goes because because they first elected Heidi to do the choreo, and Heidi was like, and then as Heidi's going on, they and she accepts Candy. it. Candy, Candy steps forward and goes, yeah. no, that's cheat, corny. <laughs> Yeah, and she's like, no, Candy says, this is not glam rock. And, and Heidi and Heidi gets very First upset. First she goes, no, that's corny. That's, <laughs> I, I was specifically her going, no, that's mad corny. I don't know if she said mad, but she kept going like, she wasn't just like, guys, this doesn't seem rock and roll. She was like, this is corny. <laughs> and I was like, ooh. And then Jimbo says, you know, Jimbo says, you know what I'm confused about. The genre is glam rock and they're doing Fosse. Because for Heidi, starts talking about doing Fosse stuff. And I'm like, I guess it's that specific, but... Bitch, I'm just trying to do some choreography that I know that I can that I know that we can do, and I'm maybe I'm not paying it. And I don't think that's gonna c- come into the judging of this of this challenge. RuPaul's not gonna be like, "Oh, that's a Fosse move. You're not gonna win." No. Well, if they don't want you there, they will find a reason. And we know that. <laughs> Girl, we, we, I remember that they, they, when they, when, one of the weirdest ones when they sent Britta home. They were like these earrings. <laughs> Is that what happened? I remember. Yes, they were like you did great in the number, and your outfit looks great. And they were like, but these earrings, like you're gonna wear these earrings. <laughs> and then I, I honestly, bitch, honestly, bitch, because you wear these earrings, take your fucking ass home with your big ass take shoes. Your, take your ass the fuck home wearing these motherfucking earrings on my motherfucking ring. Go home. And right, Candy, her earrings are dumb, right? And I was like, yeah, honestly, the earrings are really lame, and I really hate that you wore them. I think Candy is making some points, but also, what are you con- what are you contributing? Like yes, this is corny and it's whack. Bitch, what are you adding to the to, to what do you bring to the table? It is annoying someone who's like judging but not offering anything. I'm like, well then, <laughs> goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. Yeah, um, yeah. So um, in the uh, the judging, I guess we find out that Kahana Montrese wins the challenge. She's so hot. Um, I mean, she was so she was li- like Kahana had an energy. She like she had a smile the whole time. Her core like Kahana looked. I agreed that Kahana should be the winner. Did, did you agree? What do you want to do? Do you want to go over some of these lyrics before we go? Through? Let's go through these lyrics. Let's let, let's look at their outfits when we want to go through the lyrics. So, oh wait, one point I want to tar- make too. How when Heidi what? paints girls. So there's this segment of, of girls who do the makeup and they use a glove, and it's so confusing to me because. You don't want to make it to get on your hands, but you're putting it all over your face. Like, is the goal of wearing a glove so you don't have to wash your hands after you finish doing your makeup? I think it might be so that your other things don't get so dirty. So your other, so the things that you're touching don't get covered in makeup. But I just keep makeup wipes nearby. I just keep one makeup wipe nearby. And I just keep like rubbing my hands on it. Um, so wait, so the, does the glove be like, oh, I'm not going to touch anything because I have a glove on? Because you still touch oh, it. Oh, but then, but yeah, I, get, I don't know why they do it. Maybe, maybe I I don't know why they do it. I'm so, uh, Kahana, Kahana does that. No, Heidi. So okay, so Alexis Michelle is uh is wearing a leotard. Her look is her look is fine. I don't like the glitter at her hairline. It was kind of driving me crazy. But um, Miss Michelle's back and she, Miss Michelle's back and she's all grown up. Uh, I've seen the world. I've seen the world. My fame's never gonna stop. Um, Broadway Broadway's in the house. My talent skills are seen. Watch me take it all, bitch. You'll be turning green, which I think is a reference to Wicked. I just feel like they don't have a lot of lines, but like you gotta say something like clever, right? Yeah, I will say though, sometimes when we read these, I'm like, man, but then when I like watch the episode, like the whole thing, let's just like a whole the lyrics and her package of presentation, I thought it was good. Just isolating these lyrics, I'm like, uh, but her whole thing was good. If that makes sense. I think I agree. She did a good job. I agree. I think her green was referencing Michelle her getting red for both of her season when she painted herself green for the roast. Yeah, which I think was also an alphabetical reference, or was it? Yeah, yes. yeah. It all goes back to Broadway with Michelle with with Alexis Michelle. This is true. Um, let's go. Let's go, let's go to, to Darian Lake. Darian Lake looks really cool. I love this like ruffle skirt. It's, it 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 is giving glam rock. She has this like studded jacket with like the stone thing underneath and the hair. She's giving glam rock for sure. 
Um, she says, take a dip into cool, refreshing waters, flying private jets, international borders, wear designer clothes, because I got good credit. I'm so popular. I own my own subreddit. I have my own subreddit. I have my I own think subreddit. that's cute. Yeah. That's, I like yeah, I think it. It's cute. I think she, she has some great lines in there. Uh, I mean, she was not quite dancing like the other girls, but she's also a yeah. coach older than the other girls. Yeah. In the competition, she might, she might be the same as Kasha Davis, actually. Um, but they were also in different groups, so yeah. Um, but yeah, she, but she, but I like I like this verse, and it, it, it is a glow up from her. Um, big girl walking down the sturdy street. It is a, it's a glow up from that. And she's also, I mean, choreo, choreo wise, Darren is not the uh, the strongest dancer with the the choreo, but it's not the worst. And I think <laughs> when you like compare it to the others, it just wasn't as bad as some of the girls who really just could not get the choreo. Yeah. So they're the same age, by the way. Say it again. Oh, they're the same age. I think they're, they're the same age, like 54, 52. Um, okay. 51, so 52. Heidi, her voice, she, she was doing this weird affectation with her voice. Uh huh. It was, it was just, I was, I've never heard anyone do anything like that on <laughs> track race with their, I've never heard anyone do music like that. And I, I don't know that I necessarily need to hear it again. <laughs> but I kept rewinding because it was so odd. I guess it didn't stick out to me that much. It was just it was just so strange. So help me rise, the gap will suffice. Can I afford to do this twice? Duh. But I'm but I'm still nice. I'm the I'm I'm the baddest. I'm the baddest that you that you've ever seen. Always get caught, but I'm on the scene. Size of a something, something, size of a bean. Watch out, world. Heidi's your queen. And also, this is Jacob trying to decipher the lyrics himself. Um, you know, I don't, I didn't love these lyrics or this performance, to be honest. Because I feel like Heidi is like known for like her remarkable like tricks and stuff. And I was like, I would love to have seen some of that in this yeah, performance. Um, I think what it is now, too, the girls knowing that there's going to be a, a lot of lip syncs and stuff, they're trying to not blow their whole wad in the first episode. So it's like trying to be strong, but not like revealing all of your tricks that a lot of us have seen already so early on. But we already know these tricks. It's not like it's our first time seeing on Drag Race. Like we, we, already know you, we already know you have this. So like, girl, just do the thing. Like do a thing, you know? I mean, yes and no, but like, let's say she's doing like lip sync later on, and she wants to pull out that cartwheel into the split to make her get that twenty. If if, if the bag gets up to th- to forty thousand dollars, oh, I'm busting it out now because I want to win this forty k. I guess so. Yeah. Um, let's um, go on to Miss Kahana. Looks, Kahana, Kahana looks is so, so hot. Good. Oh my god, she's so hot. Okay. The way it looks. I'm back and I'm here with a glow up. Ass fat new teeth and they showed up. The biggest change from within. Now that's now that's a real talk. Thanks God I found my way and now I can't be stopped. Oh God. But I, I know I know exactly what Bob gonna say. You do not know what I say. <laughs> Your favorite line in there. Thanks to God I found my way, right? No, I don't, I, I think I think like a thank God isn't the same as like our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not quite the same as like say, oh, thank thank God I found my way. It's not the same as being like, and I like to tie ten percent of my earnings to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who I deeply deeply and well, and she doesn't believe in Jesus. Super, some of my best friends <laughs> believe in Jesus, um, but I had nothing to say about her her the word God and her. Um, I'm not allergic to the word God, Monet. I feel like um, you are. But I like her. I like her look. I like her verse. I like her performance. Uh, she looks great. She sounded great. I was really into this performance a lot. I agree. She was great, and she was just all over the stage. She's like moving and her dancing, and it just oh, it, it, it was it was electric. It was like she was the one you were watching the whole time. It feels like too many competitors. I can't <laughs> wait to thin this out. I can't wait to thin <laughs> oh this out. My God, Bob, it's too much. It's too many. Um, Candy Muse, red carpets, I've walked them. TV shows, I've done them. Sold out more tours than this crazy conundrum. Uh, <laughs> Award winning, award winning diva, she's giving you fever. Um, if fame is the game, now just follow the leader. Oh, that's good. Um, what awards did she win? <laughs> I think she's referencing her fight in Untucked winning. Oh yeah, she no, yeah she did win. No, she also didn't. She didn't they win like a MTV award too? Uh, their season did, but I don't. Yeah, they they won a movie. I don't. I don't know how that worked out. 
Well, she won a Queerity for Future All Stars. She won a Wowie for Best Twitter. She won a uh, MTV Award with Tamisha Mon for Best Fight, and she won uh, Drag Queen of the Year at the Brooklyn Nightlife Award. So she's quite oh, a wow. current. Oh wow! Well, I, I like I like all of this except the crazy conundrum line. I didn't I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So a lot more tours than this crazy conundrum. I but, don't know the kind of yada. I'm not sure what the conundrum is. You know what drove me crazy? I what? hate thongs over pads and tights. Like seeing a line up your ass, <laughs> especially when you're next to Kahana, who has a thong going into her ass cheeks, being separated by it. <laughs> And something about watching a drag queen with a thong, it, something about it, it just destroys the illusion for me. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I don't have that same yeah. reaction. I think it's fine. It's it's because it, because the thong goes in your ass, not on top it. of it. Like, I wear thongs. Wild. I get it. It looks wild. <laughs> but also, sometimes I, I, I've worn, because, you know, I, all I wear is a fishnet now. And I wear a thong on top of that, and it doesn't always go all the way in my ass. Well, I said what I said. <laughs> you know what? That, that is Andy's pet peeve of reactions. He's like, anytime someone says I said what I said, he's like, tell me, tell me you have, tell me you don't have the, the vocabulary to really to properly explain yourself. <laughs> No, it's like I have. It's like what was I have explained myself. I explain exactly why I don't like it. This one goes, "Well, I do that." I'm like, "Okay, I still don't like it." Not into the microaggressions. Like I think I've articulated myself quite nicely here. Um, I I think Candy. I, I like her verse. I think Candy. Candy again is is a good performer. I think Candy did a good job. Um, and I I like her verse besides the crazy conundrum part. But I think the rest, some of it was very clever. If if, if Fave is the game, I'll just follow the leader. That's great. Nacia Lopez, I love this look. I will say that Nacia's got to start doing more than this long flat hair. Like it's got, it's got to get something more than a long flat human hair wig. It's she gotta. did it once, Bob. She did it twice in one episode. And, oh, but she had like three other wigs too. She did, it. and I think she, I think I, what was, I think what was her entrance her, look her, as well? Her entrance look was not flat hair. What was it? You think her promo was like the slick her back promo. wet hair? It's kind of flat. Yeah, it's it, so we we seen it three times before before second episode. It's, that's a little that's a little, that's low key a little wild, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, step aside, the beauty is back, hon. Um, body body snatch. Look at these butts. All stars get their money and fame. If you if you don't know my name, you'll only have yourself to blame. I do, I do not love I do not love her verse to be a tbhness. It was not great. Um... Yeah, I, it, was, it wasn't my favorite verse for sure. Um, let's go on. Let's go to, on to James Mansfield. I, I mean, her look is is giving uh, is giving this silhouette is like, but also like, how many times are going to this silhouette? I know, and it's not not in even in the realm of disco. I'm like, girl, not even cl anything close to being disco at all. Like, not even any look. Close. Yeah, her look. Well, nothing about this is disco. This is like '60s. Is she the first disco? Is she the first disco chick? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, like the first Sorry, one I made from she, six, Oh, no. Wait, she the, as we're going through, she's the first one from the disco chicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah everyone, everyone before was rock. Got it. Yeah. You want to do her uh, verse? Yeah, her verse. Face, honey, body, stunning. Is that Margot Robbie? She wishes. Hi, Mama Ru is the queen of camp. Might need a Xanax. The lady is a vamp. Something, something, smile cheek to cheek, and the voice ain't the only thing that squeaks. <laughs> what is the other I, thing that squeaks? Her, whole... her pussy, Monet. Her pussy. <laughs> Squeak, I know. Clean. I, I actually like this. It, it low-key reminded me of uh, uh, Ketamine's verse uh, from Down Under, which I didn't even watch the full season, but, I, I, but I, I often go back and watch Ketamine's verse from Down Under. It was really... Really, really a great uh, uh, verse. Um, I will say James Mansfield's padding, though. To it. Her body is always listen. like, body like, wow. Huh? Are you playing ketamine? I can't hear it, Bob. What is he doing? He's some he didn't play through the headphones? No, Bob. Oh well, I like I like I like you to me. Hear. Do what? The headphones only you can hear. 
But I put the microphone into the headphones. I, I put the microphone into the headphones. So I, oh, you can hear it. I thought Bob was going to be. No, I, I, I put the microphone into. I put the microphone into the headphones. So I thought it would come through because I put the mic in there. I thought you were. I can hear Monet's headphones from. I can hear Monet's headphones, and I'm, I'm on the other side of the earth. So I thought that I, I thought shoving the mic in there might help. I thought you were going to be because you were literally like. <laughs> Um, I think that no, key, key to me, key to me verse it went um quirky, kooky, kitsch, kick, quick and keen. Hashtag team ketamine, social clown with a side of bam. Put my face on the stamp. She's the queen of camp. Live, laugh, love to live. If you can't love yourself, what you got to give? Um, what you got to give? So I'm here to I'm here to boast. I'm the host with the most. So getting gross in this overdose. I just thought it was a really fun. I met ketamine verse. on the when I went to the to the uh, Christmas tour last year. Um, mm -hmm. to go see it. And she is so great. I really like her. Like, I wish she lived in the States so we could, like, work together more. She's so lovely. Yeah, she's really, she's really interesting. And she's the, uh, the first down under, down under, uh, queen. Um, all right. But back to, uh, James. James man the choreo. She butchered it. I like, oh, I mean, we, I don't, I don't think we expected James to slay the choreo, but I think she, I think she slayed the verse. Though. She slayed the verse, but the choreo was garbage. Um, well, yeah, it wasn't great. It was not great. But she was fully um, like, I mean, several times they try to cut to the a whole a shot of the whole group, and James is just fully either doing different choreo or a whole beat behind. Yeah, I mean, she was. It was not great. Yeah, it was not great. Um, Jessica Wilde, sexy Latina, Puerto Rican diva, uh, rica y rica y famosa, and then something, 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 aka superstar, my body, money maker, pay, and you can taste. And you can taste her. Um, her look is so... I love this look. So what was weird about this was La La Rie and Jessica Wilde, who spearheaded the choreo, they had gold outfits on and everyone else had silver. So it looked like it was La La and Jessica and their backup dancers. Maybe it was just a coincidence. You think? I'm assuming. They must have had like silver... I'm sure they just wanted to have like a silver... Disco outfits, or maybe Lala and Jessica. They probably, just... said bring a, they probably said bring a disco outfit, and they just and most girls just because a lot of people use uh, lame or right. some sort of a, a mylar moment for uh, disco. Yeah, and it usually comes in silver or gold, or copper, or bronze. So yeah, it's it probably it's probably that, but you know, I don't know. Um, let's go on to Miss Jimbo. Jimbo's look is it's too many contestants. Oh my god, <laughs> Jimbo J to the I to the to the M B O. You know I rock this body, yo. I was loved internationally for shaking my tits so actively. Got the looks on the clown to beat. So come on, Rue, it's time to eat. Grab a teat. This one's on me, low and fat. <laughs> it's, it's such a good verse. <laughs> well, they're really getting together. <laughs> this is Damn. a great verse. You don't think it's a good verse? I didn't say it wasn't great, but I, I don't. I don't. It's just not getting me together. Way it's getting. It's really getting you together. <laughs> I got the looks of the clowns to, to be. Come on, Rue. It's time to eat. Grab a teat. This one's on me. Low and fat, dairy free. <laughs> yeah, it's really gathering you. <laughs> That's good. Jimbo is Jimbo is such a good drag queen. I'm like kind of obsessed with Jimbo now. I think. Jimbo, yeah, Jimbo did a good job. I I enjoy this very much. Um, I didn't love the look so much. I feel yeah. like. I, I I I'm not crazy about this look, but I do like this number. I mean this this the performance and the uh you know the 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 lyrics a lot for sure. Yeah, I agree. La La Re. La La Re is gonna do a new delusion if it's the last thing she does. <laughs> she is going to wear a mesh cast if it's the last thing she does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which you saw Alexis being like, Alexis has a crush on La La Re. Do, do you think they fuck? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think Alexis might be a little chocolate chaser. <laughs> I'm about to say, I, I'm looking at you. I'm like, you know. <laughs> I, I've been very public about the fact that me and Alexis show went on a date years ago. Oh, you, you did? Okay. Um, yeah, well, Alexis, been, Bob been... is uh, holding applications to join the harem. So you may still be a chance for you, baby. But we ended up our day ended up. We, I think we we kissed a little bit at the end, but it was mostly just us showing each other our drag race audition tapes. So it was not a great. <laughs> and we watched Birdman. 
which is a great movie. Um, I mean, Lala Michael, Lala. Michael, I think it's some of Michael Keaton's best work. Um, I've never seen Birdman. And, I mean, I'll watch it. Bird, really good. Invite you out. Invite you out and treat you right. I'll take you to paradise. Give back my riches and ser- give back my riches serving face. I eat hot chicken off diamond dishes. Uh, bake a bake account, bake account, and my twerking feed go hand in hand with my salary. Last time I became a meme. Look at all this money. The only two lines I like are bank account and my twerking feed go hand in hand with my salary. I think that's clever. The rest of it, I don't really enjoy. I like I eat hot chicken off diamond dishes. I think it's it's actually pretty clever. Um, and it's a lot. It's a, it's a beautiful <laughs> visual. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, let's go on to Monica Beverly Hills. This what? silhouette is incredibly popular. Monica Beverly Hills is doing it. Nacia Lopez is doing it. Uh, Jessica Wilde is doing it. Um, Candy Muse is kind of doing it a little bit. That's a that's a, the Jasmine Rice, honey. Um, um, well, let's go, go to ahead. Monica's list. So, sophisticated glam with a banshee twist. MBH is her name. Fish, fish, fish. From the ghetto to, of Chi Town to the streets of LA. I didn't come here to slay. I came here to slay. I was so confused with that last night. I didn't come here to slay. <laughs> I came here to. Sl- <laughs> what? I think that sometimes Nikki, I mean, you know, this is like sometimes rappers like they'll say the same thing twice, but it's way it's a bit it's a bit more clever and what they're punching up, it just kind of makes sense in the thing and this isn't doing that. She's not doing what she I think she's trying to do. I don't think that it's necessarily it's not necessarily just saying the same thing twice. You might you might say the same word at the end, but you're not actually saying the same thing twice. But it's also saying you didn't come here to do something, but then you came here to say that you're doing the thing that you said you you just didn't come here to do. And it's like um uh like I, I was just saying um when I did the rap against Mr. Isabel Brooks, I was like, um in a, in a room full of bottoms, you couldn't top one, couldn't top Jose, and you couldn't top one. Um, and I'm obviously saying one and one, one and one. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but I don't know. The, I was I was I literally had to rewind it back to make sure I heard it right because I was like maybe she's meant that I didn't come here to play. I came here to slay. But I didn't come here to slay. I came here. To, but I guess like, I didn't come here to slay. I, came, I didn't come here to slay. I came here to slay. Right. But I, th- I think there wasn't enough emphasis on the slay, the, the second slay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, we're gonna go on to Miss Kasha Davis. Last but not least, Mrs. It's Mrs. Kasha Davis once again. Um, everyone thought this old ass queen. Everyone thought this old ass queen killing with kindness. That's my thing. Reading to children. That's my millions. Spreading the love. Spread spreading the love. Workhorse queen. I'm gonna get my brunches for my crew. Uh, give me a bill or give me that. No, give me that filler. Pew pew pew. I'm the big. I'm the big comeback. Work red carpets with that cute hubby by my side. It's hard. It's hard when you're not hearing it. Uh, yeah. I really enjoyed the give me that filler. Pew pew pew. I really like that part when everyone kept it, like doing the filter face. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm just not like a kindness queen. <laughs> like a, every a, everybody say love, love is love. Let's all be like nice and kind queens. But to each to, to those queens, you know. Yeah, you do. You. Yeah, I, 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 I thought her verse was fine. Again, it's not my fave, but but it was fine. I think she did the job. The last line with my cute hubby by my side maybe didn't make sense in context. I don't remember, but just reading it, I'm like, what? So it's about it's about how she, like her her, her husband is always with her. her, and being married is a big part of her brand. That's why she's Mrs. Kasha Davis, right? Um, shall we go to the runways, Roberta? <clears throat> We are going to go into the wrong ways. Oh my god, there's so many girls. Category, oh, we got to zoom. This is crazy. Category was can, fake. Can, can I say? Can I say a very controversial statement? Oh god, what? As of right now, they released two episodes at once. Two episodes in, I'm not th- like thrilled at this. Is that horrible to say? I think on the on the trails of a, of such a successful all stars, um, I I'm gonna need the girls to va va boom it up a little bit. Is that, is that controversial? I think there are some girls that are doing that, like Kahana, Candy, Jimbo. Um, but yeah, I do want a little more something. But I think maybe it'll come. 
We're only two episodes in. Maybe it's gonna start. The season gonna start to season. Maybe, maybe I, I am. I am in it to win it. Alexis Michelle is, looks stunning. The category stunning. is famous. Famous forever. Your timeless signature drag. So signature drag, basically. Yeah, she looks great. This color, her body, the glove, the one glove, the hair. She looks. I I she, I, I love this. She looks great. Beautiful. I agree. She looks really good. Like, really good. Let's go I, on to Miss... Oh, go ahead. Miss Darian Lake. Darian Lake. She looks Lake. great, too. I like this dress. This this mix of fabrics... I, I haven't, I've never thought about this before, but I really like it, actually. I like it, too. It played a little trick on my eye at first. I was like, what's going on? Um, but, um, yeah, I like it. I think it's cute. I don't think it's something I would particularly wear, but I like it. Um... So I think Heidi's gonna give us teeth in almost everything, right? I the know. lip with the gap. It's I like no, it's it's happening. A lot. We got it in the in the in the, the entrance. We got it in the entrance, and now we're getting it on the runway. And we get next episode. We get... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of it's, it's it's a lot of gap stuff. But that being said, I do like this like this nod to um to uh, to Ruby Rod from The Fifth Element, one of my favorite movies. Uh, Chris Tucker's role. And um, I thought I, I thought this was this was a good look. This is like her signature. But again, you know what? And for the category, her signature. This is this is her signature. It works, but we can't get it every week, girl. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, but it is signature. Um, let's go to Kahana Montrese. I think is her breastplate is a, it's a slightly different color than her body, yeah, which is slightly. like attracting. Yeah, I agree. But but it didn't seem that it didn't seem much so in the other um, outfit. Maybe it's because. More of her body's being shown in this one, yeah. so it's kind of like well, this breastplate being this color is kind of like distracting me. But th- this outfit is quite ornate and interesting. It's very impressive. Again, I wouldn't wear this, but it is very nice. Yeah, I agree. It's not my thing, but I can acknowledge that this is a. Uh, she looks very beautiful, and like Michelle says, she's clearly been very influenced by Vegas. Like, this is very Vegas. Yeah. Uh, what's going to Kenny? Kenny looks really good. I think she looks very good too. This is like this. So on the finale of All Star Seven, Trinity had that gold. Thing. This is this is that same thing, just in red. It's from a designer in Thailand, I believe, or maybe it was made here. Now I don't know, but Candy looks very good. The hair with this and the the red and her makeup, she looks great. The way that Candy paints, she looks like she's doing this. Wait, hold on, let me push my thing to you. She's doing what? <laughs> yeah. The way she paints, she looks like she's always going. Yeah. Or maybe it's yeah. her model face. Maybe, maybe. Um, Nisha Lopez, I think, you know, this is something that I would absolutely wear. I think this looks great. I don't know if this was her signature, though. I guess I don't know what Nisha's signature is, but she looks fabulous in this. This looks great. I know this is going to sound really hypocritical coming from me, but I, I would have preferred the long <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. You just can't fucking win with you. Over this hair. You know, if, 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 it's, if it's between the two. Hmm. It's giving the same kind of hair she wore on your season when she got eliminated in, the, in that neon cat yeah, suit. She got eliminated. This is almost the same outfit she had when she got eliminated. Like, girl, why are we reminiscing on that? <laughs> I think she looks great. I like this. I would absolutely wear this. I think she looks fab. I think she looks, I like this outfit. I just, I just, I, this, has, this hair doesn't seem to go with it to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Jake Menfield's got this like Georgia O'Keefe uh, gown on with like a pussy right on the front. Yeah, I, 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 with the two, and I think it's the whole thing is supposed to be very that because she has muffs on her hand. Um, George O'Keefe is the, is the is the painter, right? With with the flowers. No, everything's a pussy, and I always flowers. They're like just some of them are just like cir- like just like oval like ovals with sharp. Got it. Yeah, I. Uh, uh, this was fine. But I think not... she might. I think I think she might have done some flowers. Yeah, I. I think this is fine. It's not my favorite look, but I think she looks fine. Yeah, she did flowers. She did uh, a lot of flowers, uh, skulls, but always a pussy. You live. Um, <clears throat> not always, but often. Let me phrase that. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, I like her other looks more, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Jessica Wild. I don't get the what I, I don't. I don't like this. I don't like it either. But she says she's a rock. She says her look is like rocker chick. It's her signature look. Work. I didn't know that. Yeah. Jimbo. This is so oh, cool. Uh, Hi- Hi- Heidi gonna sue. <laughs> Jimbo looks so cool. This is such an interesting concept. The hair 
is fucking fierce. This thing, how the ass cheeks were brains. This is such a cool look. That's like some like acid trip. I was very tickled by RuPaul saying somebody fucked their brains out. <laughs> Isn't this hair so cool? I love this. Hey, this is a great look. This is a really, really cool look. I'm a big fan of this look. And Jimbo is just doing it. Jimbo is the look queen of this season. This is not even up for debate. Oh, for sure. For sure. La La Ree. My issue again is her hair. I agree. I did not like the hair. And RuPaul was like, you used to look at this every time. I was like, with this hair? Uh-uh. Yeah, I do not. I, but I love this this outfit, though. It's really cute on her. The, really is, the outfit is great. The hair looks wild. Like, it's some, like, saloon girl from the fucking 1890s. Yeah. Monica Beverly Hills. This is uh, great. Yeah, she looks, she looks kind of like an ice skater a little bit, low-key. An ice? Oh, because of the hair. And the outfit. <laughs> like, it low-key looks a little bit like an ice skater outfit. She looks really good, though. Her, um, she does look very good. She looks very pretty. And uh, Miss Kasha Davis, this dress is fine. And th- again, this is her signature. And I guess the hair is too. I just, I'm not a fan of those styrofoam glitter sequin wig things. But I think she looks good. Yeah, I, I would have changed the hair too. But I like this outfit on her. She looks good. And yeah, I love the silhouette. Good. And I love I love where it hits her leg. This, this is actually very uh, Chanel. Yeah. Or do you mean, or Dior, you mean? Dior, yeah, this is very Dior. The yeah. way it hits her legs, it's really nice. I, I can see you wearing a, I can see you wearing a coat like this, a dress. Yeah, kind of. I, would, I don't think I get in that fabric though, but I do like it though. What yeah. What is your uh, favorite uh, look of the night? Jimbo. I agree. Got to give it to Jimbo. Jimbo. Got to give it to Jimbo. It's great, out of the box, such a concept, so well done, Jimbo for sure. Who's your least favorite? Who's your least? My least favorite is. Let me just scan through them real quick. Like, I think it was probably Jessica Wilde, actually. I agree, but Bob, we're so these days we are really, we are really synergistic. We well, you know the fans love to come for our opinions. What do they know about anything? Oh, always. Just here we are with our fucking drag race crowns. Um, <laughs> what do they know about drag race? <laughs> well, I'm not to win it. <laughs> the first time. Okay, that uh, you, you sound like you have your own personal problems with me winning drag race. <laughs> um, so let's go on to the judge. Kahana Montrese wins wins uh, the first challenge, um, and Darian Lake and Monica Beverly Hills are in the bottom. And the lipstick assassin is Aja, who did a sickening performance of Freakum Dress by Beyonce. Yeah, I thought they both did a good job, but Aja definitely edged out Kahana with her performance. And um, Rue also tells us about the twist, which is they're playing a fame game. So now I, what it looks like is that they recorded, the, the Eliminated Girls got to record all their runways, and then they're going to show them at the end of the episode. And online, you get to follow their stuff, and then we get to vote at the end or for who we want to to win the fame game, which is $50,000, which is great. I love that they're having the girls show their outfits. This is really, really yes. cool, because a lot of girls are online. <laughs> But I also love RuPaul's like, and girl, get active on social media. Like, do you want to do the challenges? Do you want to do the snatch game? Do you want to do this? She didn't say those things, but she's like, and anything else they want to post online can be considered. Yeah. Which is like, girl, uh, up your social media pussy for real, for real. Yeah, for sure. Um, And with that being said, Monica Beverly Hills is the first girl to go home. Yeah, Aja won, and she chose the name from the group. Which was uh, Monica Beverly Hiles. I love that when they when they um, say the name, Rue's always like, ah. "Oh yeah, bury that for the drama." I love. Meanwhile, she put him in the bottom. <laughs> ah. Um. All right, Bob. That's episode one. Um. I'm gonna go take a shower, and then we'll reconvene, and we'll shall do. Episode two, because we got a shower. <laughs> Bitch, if we're not doing it now, we're not doing it. I'm not. I'm not waiting for a shower. It is. It is one in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you, have, do you have? Do you have? Do you have a TikTok debate you have to run off to? No, I have work in the morning when I. <laughs> some of us have to work. Yeah. Some of us aren't just, aren't just. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us. Some of us need to work. Yeah. What would you say, Jacob? Yeah. Oh, Jacob. What would you say, Jay? You should re- record in the shower. We can make a Patreon exclusive. 
<laughs> for our OnlyFans. All right, Bob, I'll talk to you in a second. All right.